how to write and send an email on the iPhone 14 series. First, let's go back to the home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. On the home screen, open up the mail app. You may need to swipe across to locate mail. Open it up. If you have multiple accounts set up in mail, then choose the email box that you would like to use. So I'm going to use Gmail in this video example. Next, to compose an email, you want to tap on this right button at the bottom corner. This will allow you to start a new mail message. In the to text field, you can manually put in the email address. iPhone will suggest some email address that it finds in your contact list. You can select that or you can continue to manually put in an email address. Now you can also tap on the add button on the right hand side and select an email address from your contact list. And you can also send to one person or multiple people. I'm going to simply send to myself. And in here, I've got the CC and BCC setup so that it always sent to myself. This will depend on how you set in the mail settings, in the settings um, screen. Next, you go down to subject and put in your email subject. So I'm going to say this is a test. Now there is also a notification icon over here and you can choose to notify me. So receive notifications when anyone replies to this email thread. So you can choose to notify it or not to notify it. So tap on that bell icon. Next, we go down to the content, the email content elf. And in here you can uh, fill in the message. So this is a test mail message. And then in here, you can also uh, insert a picture at the bottom here will allow you to format your email content. So in here, we can uh, choose to make it bold, italic, underline, uh, strike through. You can also choose a different font. So it's quite a lot of different fonts that you could choose. So in there, you can choose the font. So I'm going to close the format window. This is a format test okay so i'm going to write a new uh, a new sentence and then you can select that sentence and then in here you can format uh, using you can also increase or decrease the size and in here there is a color picker you can change the color of your text so tap on a color from the color palette to change your text color i'm going to close it now by tapping on the close button you can also insert a number. So in here, I'm going to close the format window. And then if I tap on the format button in here, I can insert numbering or bullets. You can also align the text to the left hand side, center or the right hand side. And you can also add or remove indentations. Okay, so uh, item one and press on return item number two and so on. Okay, so you fill in the content of your email. Now, right next to the format button is a picture icon. If you tap on that picture icon, so I'm just gonna go down and then tap on the picture icon. In here, it will allow you to select a picture to insert into your email. So I can insert this picture into my email. And then I'll close it. So tap on the close button to close the selection box. And in here you can see a picture has been uh, added in here. Now if I tap on the picture itself, it allows me to um, cut or copy. Uh, it doesn't allow me to resize the image. So I'm trying to see if I can resize this image, but it doesn't seem to allow me to resize the image. And you can also use the camera. If you tap on the camera button, you can also use the camera to quickly take a photo and that will allow you to attach it to the picture. So I have just taken a photo and attach it to the pictures. Now, something else that you can also do is attach documents. So if you tap on this document item, you can also um, use, use your camera and scan a document and this will allow you to uh, attach a document. Now, because I haven't got a document with me at the moment, so I'm just going to use this piece of stickers and then I'm just going to say 
Yeah, that's good. So keep scanning. And then I'm going to tap on save so that it will attach. Uh, what I have to capture as a document, that's just kind of like a scanner. So you scan your document document, and you attach it to your email. All right, so to bring that toolbar up, you need to go into your email. And in here, this will allow you to attach documents. This is also this uh, button here, uh, you can insert. So it looks like you can uh, continue to scan and insert. I haven't got anything at the moment, so I'm just going to close that. Now there is also another button right here. And if you tap on that, it will allow you to attach uh, files or photos uh, from your files manager. So for example, I have this uh, audio file. I can uh, attach it. I can attach audio file to my emails as well. And then in here, there is also markup. You can mark up your email as well. And there, so we can just do some sample marking and then tap on done. And then you can save as file or insert join into your email. And that's it. So we have um, learned how to attach files, uh, photos, how to format and how to insert documents. Once that is done, you can then tap on the send button so you can go through your emails and check. And then we can, uh, if you're happy, now we can tap on the send button to send it. And so here some files in here are quite too big. So do you want to reduce the size of the file? So I'm going to tap on small so that we reduce the image in my email attachment. And that's it. So that is how you can compose and write an email with along with uh, formatting the text and include attachments in your email. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for my videos.